It's time to play with black dragons. I'm here with Adi, and Adi is one of my Salvatore helpers. But uh, here's a couple nice Colmanis. So um, essentially these are Varana Salvatore, but they've uh, classified them as their own subspecies. So these are Thailand dragons. Uh, one thing that's interesting about these guys, I think they're kind of uh, known to be a bit uh, neurotic and temper just let them walk, just temperamental. Here's a couple of ours that um, I've been raising. And these are both girls. And I've got them to the point where they're they're just they're very social, very confident, long tongue flicks like that, super confident. And uh, they're just really wonderful. I'll go visit some of my other ones. But we're uh, setting up so we can um, you know, you raise these things to breeding size, and it, you know it takes it takes some time. So I've been raising these guys up, and I'll tell you, when I first got these, I couldn't. When they were you know little, I couldn't even really you know, do anything with them. They were just really upset, and now they're kind of wonderful. Did you see the baby black dragons? Dude, they're awesome. Yeah, they're so cute. They're awesome. that you're looking forward to when yours gets to have a little bit of size like this, huh? <laughs> yes. Yes. Adi got himself a, a nerd captive born water monitor. How's your water monitor doing? Awesome. So you're, you're, you're learning and sticking with all that stuff? Absolutely. So these guys, they just, all they really want to do is come out and uh, be involved with what you're doing. going to clip two as soon as you guys stop being so wonderful. What are you doing? So sometimes they do get little scuffles. This one got bit on the head by another one as they're wrestling for the same food items. <laughs> What's really cool about social water monitors is once you um, lose them in, into a room it's, it doesn't take long for them to come right back out. You want to come back up? They don't exactly, uh, they don't stay hidden. They want, if you walk into the room and let's say one was loose in the room, it's just a matter of time before they come back out to visit with you, which is really unusual because you know, the propensity for the, you know, an animal like this is to hide, be secretive. Anything that makes it nervous, be secretive. But as you can tell, these guys are not exactly nervous. All right, we'll stop, right? You're so wonderful. Say goodbye. What are you doing? Come here. What are you, you're like, what's his problem? I'm just playing with black dragons. That's my male. He's wonderful. Yeah. What's this? So you can see where he does a little bit of posturing like that. That just means I'm scared. I'm scared. But really what he wants to do is he wants to come out and play with me. <laughs> Help! <laughs> You're so cute. He just, he really wants to come out. Let's go look at a hat. Hi, hey, sweetie. What are you doing? Yes, I'm dirty. Aha. Uh -huh. He's outsmarting me. <laughs> what are you doing? What do you think? You want to come out? All right. You come out. What are you doing? Such a beautiful animal. Look at that. All right, now we can go play with you. Do you see him?
one thing uh, I'm basically thinking that uh, so black dragons the genetics I'm gonna sit here and say that they're incomplete dominant so when we're looking at incomplete dominance in Varana Salvatore as an example that means that this animal doesn't look the phenotype of this animal is not like a normal wild type I'm noticing extra melanin as you can see on her back and so the visual head even though she's not a full black dragon I still feel like I can tell compared to you know other ones that I make so when we go from this the genotype of this is it carries the black dragon gene and uh, this would be like the visual head so incomplete dominance black dragon the homozygous oh god what just happened i think i just lost him there he is what are you doing i thought he snuck into another cage you're not impressed by that are you i'll finish my video so i don't know if we can get this but we're looking at colmany so Verana salvatore colmany i'm just going to keep calling them black dragons but anyways you can see hopefully if this thing is picking it up the camera that we have a pattern enamel but there's a lot of melanin so when I'm looking at the black dragon itself we're looking at the homozygous the full expression of let's say an incomplete dominant heterozygous black dragon so this would be the homozygous black dragon and the genotype is you know Thai black dragon very good this video Come on. No. got to be careful these guys don't fall on the ground they're very fragile very curious they get themselves into bad places if you're not careful oh, look at that see that see that that's really what they do when they're scared so that's you know they start out i mean they were all starting out doing that pretty pretty severe and uh making some progress all right guys say goodbye to black dragons at nerd <laughs>